All right, quick video here on setting up the HUD 17 gauge for your car. So you got, you got your suction uh, mount, which are mounts on your windscreen. That should be fairly straightforward. Your OBD2 cable here. This plug will be like a 16 pin port. It'll look just like that. It'll either be just like open by itself or it could be behind a plastic flap. Um, it has to be under here somewhere, so it definitely will be there. You'll be able to find it. Like normally it's black or white or purple. Grab your cable here, just plug it straight into this. Done, and you can tuck this flat cable here up inside your door trim. This is the best place to tuck it. So once it's all plugged in, the cable is connected at the back and you start your car the main screen will come up. On the top here we have four buttons on off plus minus M for mode. So if I push the M button which is one on the far right you can see it's going to change through all the different display options there are. Now, also, if I push the plus or minus button, you can see it's going to change uh, two of the changeable settings. So you can see you've got distance here, volts, time, GPS, above sea level, direction, coolant temperature, RPM, fuel usage, pressure, oil temperature, airflow, boost as a leader how many minutes we've been going for and if I push the plus button it's going to do the exact same thing but just on the other side so if you go into like other screens that have have like have extra ones here which you can see down the bottom it's like changing plus one minus you can choose the data you want to see on here if I do it Nothing happens as there is no extra data. So here, same thing, I can adjust it. Here nothing happens. And back to the main screen. If I hold down the Mo button, the M1, for two seconds, you can see I've entered the menu. In settings, you have all these options. So you so like turn sound on and off, set the speed alarm so you just push the plus and minus go up and down these and if you want to go into one just push the M button and you can see I can adjust the speed alarm and press the M button again to exit it so cooling alarm I can adjust it up and down with the plus and minus buttons and the M button on the right again to exit RPM alarm, bat alarm so speed adjust and speed offset is if you want to change and adjust your speedo reading on here. So for example if you have bigger tires or something's going on and you just need to adjust it to get it correct. Or you can use the GPS speedo which will be pretty accurate, which is what you do at the start there. Here you can put in some extra data, again engine size, fuel usage adjustment if you think it's a bit off. You can change the colour of things, brightness of the unit. Units, speed units. Power off time, so that's when you turn off the car, how quickly you will turn off, so 10 seconds here. Sleep voltage, so that's when it goes to sleep. So if you have an on-off car, you sometimes might need to adjust that time adjust and factory settings. So you go plus and minus, we go back to the top and push return. OB check. So this is going to check for any check lights in the engine. None found. If there was some found, they would 
to come up here and you can also clear the engine check light here. Driving test. You got your obviously like speed up test. And your brake test. And your data stream. This is pretty much just gonna pull and show all the data that it's like are picking up from your car. So straight away you can see the RPMs there coming up and not the in, and the intake pressure, intake air temp. That's how you enter settings. So that's basically all the buttons on your top there. The only other one you got is your obviously is your on and off button. If you hold that down, it's gonna turn the unit off. Press it again, hold it down, it's gonna turn the unit off. I uh, turn the unit back on. And we can select a mode here. So GPS for a speedo or OBD. And once you've chosen which one you're after, just push the M button again. That's basically everything.